So in this problem, we're given two sequences and asked to look at their Cauchy product and to determine whether that product converges or diverges. Actually, we'll show that it uh, does indeed converge. So first thing that we're going to do is just write out the first five terms, terms of, the, um, of the product. So if we let, uh, say, a sub uh, n equal the nth term of the first sequence, so it's 1 over uh, n plus 1 squared. And if we let b sub n equal the nth term of the second sequence, so negative 1 uh, to the nth times 1 over n plus 1, then the product, uh, Cauchy product, is going to be the sequence, um, or the, uh, excuse me, the uh, series. Going from n equals, we can go all the way down to 0 in both of these terms. So we'll start with the lowest index possible. Uh, the sum from zero, n equals 0 to infinity of cn, um, where cn is equal to um, n is a confusing term to use here. We'll, we'll use the, uh, say the, um, I'll say the kth term of, uh, or the kth case term of the series is the sum from n equals uh, 0 to k of a sub k times uh, b sub, uh, or excuse me, n, a sub n minus b sub k minus n. So to figure out the first uh, five terms, what's the first term is going to be, what's the sum from now k is equal to 0, so 0 to 0 of um, a sub n minus b sub k minus n. So this is just a sub 0 times b sub 0, which if we plug in 0 for n um, in the formula for a, uh, for the terms of the first sequence, we get 1 over 1, so 1. And in the second one, uh, we get negative 1 to the 0 power, so just positive 1 uh, over 1. So 1 is the first term, uh, or I should say the 0th term. Uh, the next term, so c sub 1 is going to be, well now k is equal to 1, so we'll have a sub 1 times uh, b sub, uh, or a sub 0 minus b sub, uh, let's see, yeah, k is 1, so 1 minus 0. So and then times a sub 1 times b sub 1 minus 1, or b sub 0. So we know that a, um, a sub 0 is 1. Uh, now b sub 1 is going to be negative 1 times, uh, let's see, 1 half. And of course we're adding here, not multiplying. And we'll add, let's see, a sub 1. So if we plug in 1 here, we get 1 over 2 squared, or 1 quarter. And we know b sub 0 is 1. So we can uh, simplify this. And we get minus 1 half plus 1 quarter. And that's going to be equal to minus 1 quarter. So let's go for the third, um, third term of the Cauchy product. And let's see. So now k is equal to 3. So we're going to have a sub 0, b sub 1. The pattern is going to be the same. The start out with the lowest possible uh, term, then a 0, and the highest possible. Wait, skipped right over c2. Let's do the second, um, second instead. So we'll start with the lowest um, term of the series uh, a n, and the highest term of the series b n, or sorry, start with the kth term of the series b n. So b sub 2. And we'll just raise the indices of a and lower the indices of b. So this is a1, b1. And raise the index of a, lower the index of b. And now this is, since we know a lot of these terms, we know a0 is equal to 1. Uh, b2, well, this is now with n equals 2, so this goes to 1 of 1 third. Plus, let's see, a1 times b1, uh, we know, hmm, let's see, figure out b1 is 1 half. 
and we know that A1 is 1 quarter. And now A2 is uh, 1 over 3 squared, so 1 ninth. And B0 is uh, 1. So we get 1 third plus 1 eighth uh, plus 1 ninth. And let's see, it's going to be over 72. Uh, let's see. So 3 goes into 72. 24 times uh, equals into 72 nine times, so plus 9, 9 goes into 72 eight times. This is 41 over 72. All right, so we've got two more to go. Um, yeah, let's just continue it over here. So now we can do C3, as is all right, so A0, A1, or A0, B3, A1, B2, A2, B1, and A3, B0. Now, the terms of the um, coefficients that we don't know are A3 and B3. So A3 is going to be 1 over 16. Uh, and B3 is equal to, let's see, it's going to be a negative, uh, 1 over 4. So here we've got 1 times negative 1 fourth plus A1, which is 1 quarter, uh, plus B2, which is, what did we figure out? B2 was, B2 is 1 third plus A2, which is uh, 1 ninth, times B1, which is 1 half, plus A3 uh, times uh, B0, A3 is 1 16th, and B0 is 1. So we get minus 1 quarter plus 1 twelfth, plus 1 18th, plus 1 16th. And I think I'm just going to stop here since uh, you can hopefully see the pattern here that we're just, you know, as I said before, increasing the indices of A, decreasing the indices of B, uh, with the highest possible index being uh, K, which is the particular coefficient of, uh, of the Cauchy product that you're working on. The rest just gets to be some pretty messy arithmetic. So I'll leave the last one for you to do. This would, if you simplify this, that's, um, that's the fourth term of the uh, Cauchy product of these two sequences. All right, so next we need to show that this sequence actually converges. Um, this is C naught. This is C1 and this is C2. So there's a theorem in the book that says that um, if one of the con series converges absolutely and the other converges, um, one, if one series converges absolutely, the other series converges, um, just converges, then the Cauchy product will converge absolutely. And similarly, if one of the series converges conditionally and the other converges just plane converges, uh, the Cauchy product will conditionally converge as well. So it makes sense to figure out how, how these two series converge, or if they converge at all. So start with um, sum from 1 over k plus 1 uh, squared. So looking at the sum from k equals 0 to infinity. And this is actually equal to its absolute value since all these terms are positive. It's a non-negative sequence to begin with, or non-negative series, excuse me. This is equal to 1 over k plus 1 squared, uh, absolute value of that. 
So now we can just look at this term here. Well, this is um, just a, a p series with p greater than or equal to 2. Right, so uh, this is, or sorry, p greater than or equal to 1, since p is 2. So this actually does converge, um, and since it's the absolute value, or since it's absolute series is uh, equal to the series, then uh, it converges absolutely as well. So say, therefore, um, sum from 1 over k plus 1 squared. Uh, it converges absolutely. All right, so we, now we need to look at um, the series, uh, second series, and if this converges, then we're good. We can say that the Cauchy product converges absolutely. Uh, so we're looking at the series uh, negative 1 to the j, 1 over j plus 1. And here we don't really need absolute convergence, so we don't need to um, try to you know, do more than we need to. We can just notice that this is an alternating series. So uh, if we use, use the alternating series test, we can just go through the uh, three criterion. So the first uh, criterion says, well, it must be an alternating series. So check. Second, um, the term, absolute value of the terms must be uh, going towards, uh, or must be decreasing. And of course, the indices of j are increasing, and j is in the denominator. So if we just ignore the minus 1, this, of course, is going to get less than, or less than 0, or is going to start, is going to decrease. All right. And Finally, uh, we need that the absolute value of the terms approaches zero. So that's also clear here. The limit of um, 1 over j plus 1 is, as j goes towards infinity, is zero. So all three uh, criterion for the alternating series test are met. And we can say that the series converges. So since uh, the first series converges absolutely and the second one converges, we can say that uh, the series Cn um, converges absolutely.